What's up guys? I'm Roxette Arisa and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a get ready with me for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. You'll hear me say that a couple more times in this video, but just want to put it out there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be creating this makeup look right here and this hair look. I don't do hair that often, but when I do, this is what you're going to get. <laughs> So if you want to see this video and see how I created this look and how I got ready for Mother's Day this year, then just keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Rockstar Fam Bam. I'll wait for you guys. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. So we're going to start off with brows and I'm going to be using my Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade 4. Now I usually do this off camera, but since we're doing like a full get ready with me, I thought I would just go ahead and do it but I feel like a lot of times you guys probably would get bored if I literally showed like the same exact steps in every makeup tutorial you know what I mean and I pretty much do my brows the same way every day and I always make sure to clean it up with concealer around the brows just because I like them to be nice and exact and exactly the shape that I want. Then of course we gotta go in with my favorite brow gel, the Makeup Forever Brow Gel in the shade 00, which is just the clear one, but this is the one I literally use every single day. No other brow gel compares in my opinion. And we're just gonna go over those hairs. I like to always brush up, so that's what I'm doing. I think for Mother's Day this year, I just want to keep it pretty neutral, but with a little shebang thrown in there. So I'm going to first go in with this Smashbox lid primer in the shade Light. This is a good one if I'm going for more of a natural look. Natural as in, you know, kind of glam but natural. Um, but this is a good one because sometimes the Mac Soft Ochre is a little bit too much for natural looks. I feel like it's perfect for like really dramatic looks, but sometimes it's a little thick for stuff that's more on the natural side. And for the eyeshadow, I'm going to be digging into this bad boy. This is one of my favorite matte palettes of all time. So it's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. And I think first I'm just going to set that down with this shade. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's right here. And you want to go all the way from the brow bone down to the lid. And we are gonna be keeping this entire look matte today. I think that's what I'm feeling. So um, you can go ahead and coat the entire eye. Sometimes if I use shimmer shades or metallic shades, I don't like to put a matte shadow underneath because it kind of like inhibits the shimmer from showing through, I feel. But we're gonna keep it all matte today. Now with a MAC 217 brush, I'm going to start to build up the crease with this guy up here. I think it is called Latest. Yeah, Latest up here. And I'm just taking this in windshield wiper motions across the entire crease. And I'm kind of starting lower and blending upwards once I have less product on the brush. Then I want to take this dark brown right here called Cytri and put this into the outer V with a Sigma Blending E25. And again, I'm placing most of the product towards the inside and once I have less product on the brush that's when I'm blending outwards but I really wanted to use this like really deep warm chocolatey shade and this is the perfect one and the key to getting a nice blend in my opinion is always going back in and kind of layering so I already put my first layer down and then I'll go back in with that same dark brown and continue to add a few more layers and if you get a little bit of fallout, that's totally fine because we haven't um, done, you know, the face makeup yet. So you can just go ahead and wipe your troubles away, my friend. And then for this very inner part over here, I want to clean it up a little bit with this lightest, 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 <laughs> with the lightest shade in the palette over here. Just pressing that into the inner corner with an exact blend E32 from Sigma. Once I'm done blending, we are going to add on a wing, but we're going to tone it down for our mamas with a brown wing. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but I don't know. I just feel like doing a brown wing. So I'm going to use this Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Studio. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Not Color Tattoo. Maybelline Eye Studio. I think this is called the Lasting Drama Liner in the shade Brown. This is one of my favorite liners. I've never tried the brown, though. I've used the black tons and tons of times, but let's do it up. 
I like to make the initial shape of the wing with the gel liner so that I can get really precise lines going up and then back down to create that triangle shape. But I also like to go over that with a liquid liner most of the time. So today I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Golden Bronze Sparkle Longwear Liquid Liner. And we'll see how this goes. But I'm basically just tracing over the lines that I've made with the gel liner and just kind of cleaning it up a little bit and making it darker. And this one has a little bit of a metallic finish to it, so I like that a lot, especially when it's layered over a matte black. Or, sorry, a matte brown. Then I'm going to go ahead and just curl my lashes real quick. This is the Lancome Curler. And I recently rediscovered an old favorite. I talked about it in my last video, but it's the, um, it literally looks like I have dirt, like, all over my hand right here. The Benefit Roller Lash. I really love this mascara. You know what it is? It like really keeps my lashes actually curled, which I have, um, like my natural lashes sticks pretty straight out and they lose a curl really easily. So this helps when I put on my false And today we are gonna be using Coco Lashes Queen Bees. And these are a new pair, so I think I'm gonna cut them just a little bit. I like to cut a little off the ends so that the inner corner can still, um, like it won't be too sharp and it won't like poke you in the eye. So let's go ahead and do that. And I cut out about this much. Did you see that? I don't know if you saw that, but maybe like a quarter of an inch, half an inch. I'm just going to pop these bad boys on real quick, just kind of popping them into place and then placing the inner and outer corners down. And we're moving straight back to the face. And for primer, my new favorite, legit, I am like overly obsessed with this primer right now. It's the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. So if you know the Pores No More, it's a mattifying primer. This one does the same thing in that it actually like fills in your pores and it's good for your skin because it's dermatologist develop, de developed and um, it's not matte, it's luminizing, which you guys know I love to glow. So I've been loving, loving, loving this primer. I'm just going to go all over my face, specifically in the areas where I get larger pores. And once we have our primer set, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in 230 Natural Buff. Such a bomb drugstore foundation. I've talked about this several times, but it seriously is one of my favorite foundations of all time, even like drugstore or or luxury so I'm just buffing this in or not even buffing I'm pressing it into the skin with my Sigma Beauty 3D HD blender you guys seriously this uh, primer foundation combo is everything to me it's like long wearing it's luminous it's dewy it has full coverage it's like legitimately everything <laughs> Okay, Maybelline, what's up? Now, for concealer, I'm going in with my Becca Cosmetics Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer in the shade Beige. I've really been liking this again. I feel like I go through phases with, well, all makeup, honestly, but especially concealer and mascara. Like, I'll go through phases of just using one or two, and I... I'm currently in a phase of using this one. And I'm gonna do just a really light bake with my Derma Blend Professional Loose Setting Powder while we go in and contour. So I'm using this uh, Tarte Clay Stick Foundation again. I really like this for contouring, honestly. It's in the shade Tan Deep Honey. And I just go ahead and glide it on. It just blends out easily because it is a foundation. So I've been liking it a lot. And for our last step in the little cream process, we're gonna glow it up for mama. So this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in the shade Prosecco Pop. Just popping this onto a little blender and blending into the high points of the face, especially the cheekbones. Then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all that excess powder away. And I'm just using a little teeny tiny brush. This is the Sigma Powder Sweep F6. Then we are going to set the sides of the face or the contours, I guess, and warm it up a little bit more with Yardinoto Benefit Hula. I'm still on my mission to finish this entire thing. <laughs> and I'm applying this with a Japanesque blush brush and just going in like the three shape to really warm up the face. But I'm not getting too Christly because I know my mom likes it a little more natural. 
And then I'm also going to go in and add a little bit of nose contour with Hoola as well. And I am going to go in and kind of mimic what we have on the top for the lower lash line. So I'm going in first with the transitional shade all over the lower lash line. And then taking that darker shade that we used on top and putting that into the outer V. And we are going to line the waterline today. I'm going to try out this guy. This is the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner in the shade Moody. I've never tried this one, but it looks really pretty. It's like a charcoal-y brown. And of course, going back to Benefit Roller Lash, I'm just gonna pop a little coat onto the bottom lash line. And I'm like pretty obsessed with this mascara. Look how long it makes my bottom lashes. It's quasi. Okay, so we're done with the eyes now. I really like how it turned out. It is, you know, just a natural, natural look for mama. But um, <laughs> no, it's, it's a little more than natural. You know, you gotta, Biff it up a little for Mother's Day, but we are going to move back to the face. I gotta add some blush. I think I'm gonna try out this new one from Hourglass. It is really pretty. It's the Ambient Lighting Blush, and it's in the shade Brilliant Nude. I thought I would just leave it pretty simple for blush today, but I just do want to add on a little bit of color. Ooh, pretty. I like that blush. It's um really subtle, but I like a subtle blush. Um, and this is the City Color CCB 201 brush that I'm using. I'm kind of like, like using padding motions. And then for highlight, I wanted to use an oldie but a goodie, Becca Opal. And I'm just going to be applying this with a Sigma Strobing Fan F42 on all of the high points, especially placed over that shimmering skin perfector that we already put down. Whoo, child, this is a beaming highlight. All right, now for the lips, I think I'm gonna go in with this. I think this may, I, I mm, having trouble talking, but I really love MAC Oak Lip Liner, but I lost it. And ever since then, I've been kind of substituting it for MAC Hoover Lip Pencil, and I love this one. I still love Oak, obviously, but okay, MAC, we see you. This Hoover Lip Pencil is everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this guy. And I thought I would spice it up a little today with this um, ABH liquid lipstick. It's in the shade Trust Issues. You know, I'm not really feeling this lip color, not gonna lie. Just, I actually like the lip, lip color a lot. I've worn it several times, but I don't like it with the eyes because I feel like it's it makes it too dark. It makes the whole look too dark. So we are gonna restart the lips. All right, same lip liner. But I think I'm gonna try out Lolita for this look. I haven't used this one in a while, but I think it'll be pretty. Mom, I hope you like dramatic looks because that is what this turned out to be. Honestly, I wasn't even going for that. I was kind of just like, yeah, it'll be like a super girly, natural makeup look and this is what came of it so there you go but we are going to be setting with this new glam glow glow setter makeup setting spray i haven't tried it yet but it looks really pretty and i wanted to try it out oh gotta gotta do a little priming oh oh it smells good oh my god this literally smells so amazing and it has a really nice mist around it. Like, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's very, like, very misty. Not, um, like, a spray spray. That did not make sense, but hopefully you know what I mean. And I am gonna fix my hair up real quick. Um, I just wanna do some, like, waves, some, like, loose waves or something. That's what I'm feeling today. So I'm heating up my little wand right here. This is from the new Bellamy Bel Air set, and it's so cool because it could literally be, like, a straightener or a curling wand. I've never tried it before. This is gonna be my first time, but we'll see. I was just really impressed by that. And then I think I'm gonna clip in the Bel Air extensions as well. So we're gonna start by sectioning off the hair. You guys know the drill. Oh, first, actually, I'm gonna put in my, um, my heat guard, my thermal protect don't and then I'm gonna try out the way wave spray as well today this will be my first time trying it I'm actually really excited so what I'm gonna do is section off the hair and then go ahead and start curling towards the outside I'm taking about like one inch sections and just wrapping around the wand and holding for about 10 seconds and then releasing Okay, Bellamy, we see you. I like this little wave that I just got from this.
And I do like to tease the roots of my hair and clip in the extensions as I'm going because I find this the easiest way to get her done. And we're basically just going to be repeating that process with each section of hair. I usually do mine in like three sections because I don't really have like that thick of hair. If you have thicker hair, it's probably going to be maybe four to five sections, but it's pretty simple. You just want to always curl to the outside and leave the ends um, not curled, if that makes sense. So the ends will be a little bit straighter. Oh, and this is cool because I don't like this front part to be too curled. So I open it up. I can just kind of go through it like a straightener. So cool. And from here, I think I just want to brush out the curls so that they're a little less profound and just a little bit more on the wavy side. See the difference between this side and this side? It's just more like effortless. Effortless is a good word. <laughs> Alrighty, and we're pretty much done. Last step is just going to be to spray it down with some of this Way texturizing hairspray. You guys know I love this stuff. It is so good. So I'm going to apply quite a bit so that my hair holds. Alrighty, guys, this is the finished look. So hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. And happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. I think this look would actually be really pretty um, if you're, you know, a child celebrating Mother's Day, celebrating your mother. Or if you are a mom and you're celebrating Mother's Day. I think it go, could go either way. It's just very, well, I was going for natural. I don't know that it's natural, to be completely honest with you guys. But I do think that it's a pretty and, like, feminine look. You feel? You feel? So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll list all the products down below. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it. And let me know, actually, if you guys like when I do these, like, get ready with me type videos. And if you like when I do, like, makeup and hair or makeup and outfit, um, like I did last time. So that I know. So that I can keep doing videos that you guys want to see. And I think that is going to be it. Again, happy Mother's Day. I can't say how grateful I am for my mom. And I know... You know, there's so many amazing, amazing, amazing mothers out there. So it is the day to celebrate. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. Love you guys, and I will see you in my next video.